Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. In North East New Jersey there is a road, and in all honesty it seems like a pretty normal piece of road. According to Wikipedia it is a rural two lane road and runs for about 6.7 miles through the small townships of Liberty and Independence. I have never been to New Jersey myself, but from what I can see this road seems pretty normal and even somewhat pleasant and picturesque. So why am I going on about it today and dedicating a whole video to it? Well as this is name explained I'm sure Sure you know the exact reason why. This road has a rather unique name. Unlike other unusual place names, this one isn't rude or silly. In fact, it's rather frightening and scary. If it weren't for this name, then this road would be just another country road. However, its name has elevated it to folklore status and has made it the center of discussion for people all around the globe. This road has the incredibly ominous name of Shades of Death Road. Yep, you heard that right. Shades of Death Road. We've looked into spooky names like this in the past, but this one really takes the cake. How on earth did this road end up with this name? Is it just an odd coincidence that the road has this morbid name, or does the thoroughfare's history explain this name to us in detail? Well, we don't seem to be too sure as to how exactly this name came about. There really isn't one definitive answer for us this time. However, there are many stories and tales that are fed into this road and created something of a folklore around it. It, and these stories give us an idea as to how this road got its name. Of course these stories are related to shade, as well as relating to death, so this video may not be for the faint of heart. Unsurprisingly most of these stories revolve around people being killed on and around the road, hence the death part of this road's name. One group of people who were seen as being responsible for all these deaths were highwaymen. As this road is lined with aged warp trees it is actually somewhat shady, hence the former part of this name. There are stories that highwaymen would use this shade to hide away in the darkness and spring out on those passing by. These bandits would then spring out and rob and kill the unsuspected, giving the road its dark history and its morbid name. However, there's also the idea that it's actually the other way around. This wasn't a place where highwaymen and bandits would kill people, but it was the place in which highwaymen and bandits were sent to be killed. These bandits were killed by being hanged from the low branches of the trees that lined this road. Like I said, it's all pretty gruesome stuff. Before highwaymen and bandits ran wild down this road however, there are stories of the area's old inhabitants being gangs of people who would squabble and fight, which unsurprisingly would lead to their deaths. As society began to build up around the area, these gangs might have disappeared, but their actions remained in the road's name. It wasn't just these highwaymen and gangs however who were killed down this road, as there are many murders linked to this road too, some of which as recent as the 1920s and 1940s. There seems to be three distinct murders which are most closely linked with this road. The first of these seemed to revolve around a man who for some reason was going down this road with gold coins. Why someone was still using gold coins in the early 20th century however is beyond me. Of course, being in possession of all these gold coins made this guy something of a prime target, which led to him being killed for them. The story goes however is that he was killed by being pummeled to death with a tire jack, specifically multiple cracks to the head. Yeah, not too nice at all. It was also down this road where it's believed a wife killed her husband. Not only did she kill him, but also decapitated him too, burying his head and body on either side of the road. And finally, a man by the name of Bill Cummings was supposedly killed down this road too. There doesn't seem to be too much information on how or why he died, but the fact everyone likes to share about his death is that the murderer was never found. While these are spooky stories for sure, I find them questionable. Out of all the articles I found online, about this road and these murders, they all seem to just spout the same basic facts with no further evidence. I can't help but feel there'll be more to say about them, though what do I know? People love unsolved mysteries at the moment so maybe this feed into that and I'm being a party pooper. All this murder of course has led to many ghost sightings on the road too and in the surrounding area. A nearby lake is literally called Ghost Lake. It's known for having mist rising above it and people claiming that these are ghosts. On top of this there are stories of Native American spirits in the garden 
guys with deer haunting this area too. It's all very spooky for sure. It could be deduced that this name has helped cultivate this road's haunted image. Though not all death linked with this road is a result of murder. If dangerous people or ghosts aren't trying to kill you, then the road itself is. That's not to imply that the roads are possessed or anything and trying to go out their way to kill you. It's more the fact that as this road is bendy with many twists and turns, road accidents are said to happen here more than average. The shadiness of the road doesn't help things out either too. One story even says that where the guardrails are in the road indicate where people have crashed and died. While I'm sure there have been many fatal accidents down this road, it seems this name was being applied to the road before cars as we know them today were even a thing. And if it wasn't the people or the road itself trying to kill you, then it was cats. Yes, another idea is that the death in the name of this road came from killer cats. Though we aren't really talking about your average domesticated house cat here. A nearby area in the past that went by the name of Cat Hollow or Cat Swamp. Apparently there's still a nearby Cat Swamp Road. These cat based names relate to the fact that in the past many wild feral cats lived in the area. New Jersey's most noticeable wild cats are bobcats and these large cats can definitely do quite a number on you that's for sure. It was thought that these feral cats mauled, attacked and subsequently killed many people down this road. This is another theory as to how this name came to be. One final theory as to how so much death came to be linked to this road doesn't relate to murderous people or ghosts or even large cats but instead links the death with something which is quite possibly a whole lot worse. The disease of malaria. Malaria truly is an awful disease and while it's now most closely associated with the continent of Africa and other tropical regions it can and has appeared all over the globe. The land around Shades of Death Road appears to be very swampy and marshy and in the past this wetland attracted many many malaria carrying insects. In the past this led to yearly outbreaks of the awful disease in the local community killing many people. The earliest instance of this is in 1877 and a doctor of the time said that the cases were very severe and many of the residents expected the usual attack of chills in the spring. The malaria got so bad that a $100,000 reward was put up to anyone who could drain the swampy land which attracted the malaria carrying insects. This seems to have been achieved by 1884. While the malaria went away with the swamps, the name Shades of Death Road is thought to be an ode to the many deaths this disease created. So whether it was the murders, the highwaymen, the bandits, the dangerous roads, the big cats or the malaria that brought this name about, it seems that the name is here to stay and it has certainly put this otherwise nondescript path of the state on the map that's for sure. Shades of Death Road has become a landmark for lovers of all things weird, morbid and paranormal. As mentioned there are tons of articles and videos about it online. Death and the mysterious and the macabre like this are weirdly popular at the moment. Just ask anyone who listens to true crime podcasts or watches the countless murder documentaries Netflix seem to have a never ending vat of. Shades of Death Road has apparently even appeared on the show Haunted Highways which I'm sure is some kind of high quality television. If you couldn't gather from my tone I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of content and while the weirder conspiracy loving world has fallen in love with this road what do the people who actually live around this area think of this name? Well they seem to think that it's something of a burden. The name has brought much unwanted to the tension to the sleepy part of New Jersey and with that comes vandalism. Most noticeably people wanting to steal the road sign. The stealing of road signs due to the name on them is something we've covered in the past and that's the case here. This spooky name is so alluring to many that they want the sign for themselves. The local residents have taken action however, supposedly greasing up the tall pole the sign resides on so people trying to climb it slip down. The locals apparently simply call the road shades, omitting the of death part of the name entirely. I imagine if you live close by you would get pretty bored of people obsessed with death and murder being around simply due to the road's name. Though perhaps the strangest part in all this is that despite how scary and unique this name is, it isn't the only Shades of Death Road in the United States of America. There's another one and it's pretty close to the New Jersey Road too as it's located in the neighbouring state of Pennsylvania. This Shades of Death Road too it seems to have all the regular trappings you'd expect from a haunted paranormal part of the world with its scary stories linked to it and tourists oogling at the street name. 
This road is too for it to be named due to the fact that vegetation helps make it shady and due to various non-specific murders taking place in the vicinity. If there's any deeper connection between the two shades of death road however I'm not too sure. But Google Maps informs me there's about a six hour drive between the two of them. In just New Jersey however there's many more spooky place names. We mentioned Ghost Lake but there's also Devil Tree, Bear Swamp, Snake Hill and the Devil's Tower all named after things people tend to be scared of. There's also Jenny Jump State Forest, which is supposedly named after a girl called Jenny who jumped to her death in the forest. New Jersey just seems to be a state that has many spooky connotations to it. Are all these scary stories true or are just people trying to make a quick buck off some place names? Regardless of my skepticism to all this however, it's undeniable what kind of stories and images the human brain can conjure up when inspired and a name like Shades of Death Road has inspired many, that's for sure. Shades of Death Row was suggested by Denny Zavada, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Shades of Death Road. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patreon is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at Name Explain YT. On Instagram, I'm also Name Explain YT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you all so much.